Many of you know I wrote a book entitled Becoming a Son. It talked about becoming a son. It talked about being a son. It talked, talks about building a son. I believe we were sent and sent to be part of a son, to be a son together. I believe that is our destiny as humankind, is to be a son. And I'll speak to what I mean by that. I mean a sphere, a unified sphere of generation of universal love. The power of the universe coming through human consciousness and human experience as humankind, ultimately. And we have to start someplace. Right? The great things start with little things. And the practice of sun building amongst ourselves. I'm going to give you some gee whiz facts about the sun. The sun is a place, as I'm sure we all know, of, of fusion. Yes? It's a place of fusion where hydrogen, hydrogen atoms at the center of the sun form a helium at, atom. And in that process, they give off nuclear energy. It's a process of fusion. Takes four hydrogen atoms to create one helium uh, atom. And in the process, there's a loss of mass. The loss of mass and E equals MC squared. So mass is converted to energy, which is why the sun shines. In that process of fusion, the sun shines. All of that creates incredible heat. 28 million degrees Fahrenheit, unimaginable heat. It's also a process that is powered by gravity. Something like 99% of the mass of our solar system is the sun. So if you add up all the planets, Jupiter and Mars and the Earth and everything else, it still is less than 1% of the mass of the solar system because the mass of the sun is enormous. And we know it has enough gravity to keep the earth from spinning off into space someplace, but there's something else that happens because of that, which is that hydrogen atoms are drawn to the center of the sun, which is where the fusion happens. It, the fusion doesn't happen out on the corona, on the outside of the sun. It happens at the core of the sun, under the tremendous pressure of gravity, gravity that's unimaginable. All of that creates what we think of as sunlight, a whole range of radiation that comes from the sun. Galileo said that while the sun is busy keeping all the planets going and keeping everything in its orbit and shining on, on the whole solar system, it still pays attention to ripening a bunch of grapes. <laughs> <laughs> so what's that got to do with us? Some fun, gee whiz, scientific facts. That they're they're amazing to me. Um, I believe we're building a sun. That is what's happening for us as humankind. What has to happen for us to build the sun? Think of those atoms. They have to be drawn into proximity. There has to be some kind of gravitational power that draws them to the center of the sun. 
And the atoms respond to that gravitational power. So for us to build a sun, there has to be the core of us as a body of people. People who stand at that core and people who bring gravitational power. Gravitational power. What is that like in the human experience? We know scientifically what it's like on the sun, but what is that for us as human beings? Well, we, we have the expression that somebody has gravity. Yes? They have, they have gravity. Gravity is some kind of sense of uh, solidness showing up. Here am I, send me. Courage. I believe it's courage, a person's courage to show up as themselves that creates gravity. Gravity. It's attractive. Attractive, not just physically attractive. No, it's vibrationally attractive. You see somebody being themselves. It's like, wow, I want to be around that person. I want to come close to them. So that, that's another thing we can learn from the sun. It takes proximity for there to be fusion. And that's true for us as human beings. Keep the world at arm's length. No fusion. No fusion. 